Hello everyone. So this is a little awkward, right? You're just all looking at me on the on the screen, right? But um, I can only assume that uh, Seth needs to, I don't know, pay attention or stop doing what he's doing. And, and probably somebody's out of the bathroom right now. Um, anyway, so I wanted to just tell you what uh, you're going to be doing in today's lesson and what the next couple of Nearpod clips are going to be and kind of give you a general overview. But as I said in, first of all, as I said in the uh, message on Canvas, I do have jury duty. I'm going to be out this week and parts of next week. I'm going to be in on Monday, I believe, and uh, hopefully at the end of the week. I really don't know. But uh, I don't really know how we're going to handle the, the following, you know, next five, six, seven days. I'm not really happy that we're ending Romeo and Juliet just as when I'm not there. That's definitely not what uh, I was planning on. Uh, and so anyway, we're going to take it day by day and we'll go from there. But uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to first flash forward. We are going to go from Act 4, Scene 1, which we read yesterday. And we're going to get all the way to the end of the play in Act 5, Scene 3. So we're skipping a whole bunch of scenes. and We're going to do that by watching some video clips, our favorite thing to do. So the first video clip we're going to be watching uh, starts from yesterday, Act 4, Scene 1, where Juliet goes to Friar Lawrence. She's feeling helpless. She's feeling alone. She's feeling terrified and desperate. And, uh, you know, hopefully you picked up in yesterday's reading. She had a dagger with her. She was willing to end her life right then and there. Um, and Friar Lawrence couldn't give help. I mean, she was willing to do anything uh, to stay loyal to her Romeo and to not marry Paris. So Friar Lawrence had the plan, right? This is just summarizing the plan. Friar Lawrence's plan was simple. He has a potion. She's going to take the potion. She's going to go home. She's going to agree to marry Paris. She's going to ask her dad for forgiveness. All of those things. Then she's going to take the potion the night before the wedding. They're going to wake her up in the morning and she's going to look dead. This is a magic potion. It doesn't exist in real life. She's going to look dead. She's going to feel dead. The color will drain from her face. She won't, you can't detect her breathing or pulse. So then they're going to bury her in the Capulet tomb, the monument they talked about. And in that, that's where she'll lie. Tybalt's probably going to be lying near her and all the other dead Capulets. In the meantime, Friar Lawrence is going to let Romeo know about this plan, that Juliet's going to be, quote, dead. Romeo's going to sneak back into town. And right as Juliet's waking up, from this potion that only lasts a day or two, 48 hours. Um, Friar, Romeo's going to be there with Friar Lawrence, and Romeo's then going to run away with Juliet. So it's not a perfect happy ending. Uh, Juliet's going to have to fake her death. Her whole family's for the rest of their lives. Her whole family's going to think that Juliet's dead, but um, they'll at least be together. Hopefully you can see the flaws in the plan. Like, what if Juliet's potion doesn't work? What if it works too well and she's dead? And what if Romeo doesn't get there in time? Uh, what if, of course, what if Romeo doesn't get the message? What if Romeo doesn't get the message that uh, that Juliet's potion is just a is just a ruse, just a fake out? Um, we can kind of see where this this is coming. So the first video clip is going to take place <clears throat> right from there, right where Juliet was talking to Friar Lawrence, and we're going to bring it all the way. Uh, forward. It's going to be at about a 10 minute clip, I think. And it will, I'm going to have it stop along the way to answer some comprehension check questions. And then we will carry it from there. All right. So whenever we're ready, click the next slide. And uh, again, Seth, stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> 